Hi friends, welcome back. This is the second part of the Amazon price drop notification bot series. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use Python to send emails using Gmail. I know that not everyone likes to use email as a way of communication, so we'll also cover how to use Python to send WhatsApp messages, but that will be for the next tutorial. To send emails in Python, we just need two libraries, and both are standard built-in Python libraries, so we don't need to install anything extra. The email library is used to create an email, of course, and the SMTP lib is used for sending emails. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, basically a standard way to send emails from one computer to another. There's also an easier way to remember this abbreviation, send mail to people. All right, let's get started with coding. In our Python environment, we'll import the email message object from the email module. We'll start by creating an email message object, and we can treat this object as if it's a dictionary. So we can add the email subject sender's email address, which is from, and the recipient's email address, which is to, into the dictionary. We'll need to use the dot set content method to add content for the email body and the URL variable is just the Amazon product page link. So we've just finished creating an email object. We need to change a setting in our Google account before we can use Python to connect to Gmail. Go to this less secure app URL, and if it's turned off, we need to turn on the access so we can send email automatically with Python. If you have multiple Google accounts, just make sure that this is the account that you want to use for sending the email before you turn on the access. Next, let's see how to send it out. We we use the SMTP lib to send out the message to ourselves. We're going to use an SMTP underscore SSL class. The SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer. Basically, our email needs to be encrypted before we can send it out. And the SMTP SSL class will do the encryption for us. So we're going to import SMTP lib and create an SMTP SSL object called SMTP. Since we're sending Gmail, we need to connect to Google's SMTP server, which is this smtp.gmail.com with a port number 465. Then we need to log into our Gmail account by using the dot login method. Simply input our Gmail address and the password. If we can log in successfully, then we should see this message saying accepted. To send the email, just use the smtp.send message method and attach the email message that we just created. Once we're done, we also need to close the SMTP connection. So what I just showed you was that I stored my email password in the script. It's not really a good practice. Uh, to store any password in the code. If we're not careful enough and then send the code to other people later on, all of our secrets will be reviewed and we don't want that to happen. So instead of hard coding the password inside a code file, one secure way to store the password is to save it into the system environment variables. In the Windows search bar, type TATH to open up the environment variable window, then create a new variable. We're going to call it email password, but you can name it whatever you you want in the value box just type the email password click ok to save so to retrieve that password that we just saved in the system environment variable we need to use the python os module let's import os then os dot environ dot get passing that variable name that we just created and this will return the actual password to us so just replace the hard code password with this and you're all set we want to send a notification to ourselves only if the price drops. So we just need to add a condition to check the price. If it's lower than the current $130 uh, normal price, then send it out a notification to us. Otherwise, do nothing. I hope you guys learned something today. And if you enjoyed the video so far, please hit that like button for me. In the next video, we'll go through how to send the notification to ourselves using the WhatsApp program. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.